Michelle Yarovsky here. Today we'll be walking through getting custom data into Insights. Insights gets data automatically from Orchestrator. We've created a custom schema to take only the fields necessary for you to create analytics on your data, and we've put them into Insights for you. We also get robot logs the same way that Kibana gets them, if you're familiar with our integration with Kibana. This workflow I have here takes this invoice right here and extracts a few key fields. In this workflow, we use the add log fields activity and inside of this collection, this is where we are logging our name, vendor address, billing name, etc. All of these fields will show up in Insights as a custom table with all of the fields selectable so that you can build a dashboard the same way that you would build a dashboard with any of the out of the box fields. Let's take a look at what that looks like. In Insights, we have our out of the box dashboards, but if we'd like to create a custom dashboard using those fields we just got out of our invoice processing workflow, we'll click this button to create a new dashboard. It'll launch us into our Insights portal. Here our data source is our default queue because we are on the default tenant of Orchestrator. We're gonna call this invoice dashboard. Now here's my invoice dashboard. I'll click select data. And you'll see these standard jobs, queues, and robot logs table. But we are looking for our document understanding workflow. Here it is, process, which is how you know it's a process with custom logs, dash doc understanding. This is our workflow. Here you see all of these fields have been extracted from our raw message. So here's our billing address, billing name, currency, et cetera. If we want to use any of these, we'll just click and select them. There's our billing address. If we go to advanced configuration, we can always change the name of this field to be something more readable like this. The other way to get custom data into Insights is using queues. So if we were to take the same workflow and go to activities and assume we were using queues, there are a few items in our activities pane that allow you to log custom data to queues the same way you can add them to your log field. You can do that via either add queue item. So let's just drag that in here. Here we have this item information collection. The same way we did with log fields, you can just add a new item here. And these will be accessible in Insights as your own queue-queue name table. So same way as the logs work. You can also do this via the set transaction status activity, which includes analytics and output, two other fields where you can store custom logs. Let's take a quick look at what a queue table looks like on Insights. Now if we just search queue, Scroll down to find an actual custom queue. Here's a custom queue that we made. It's not the same one as the invoice processing, but you can see that it's queue dash and then ATS1, which is the name of that queue. And just like that, here's that output field with some custom values. And there's that item information, which is called specific data on Insights with custom values attached. Pretty straightforward. Just to recap what we just went over, you can get custom data into Insights either via using robot logs and adding the add log fields activity for whenever you'd like to include a custom variable or by leveraging queues and using any of the three sections of queues that are optimized for holding variables like analytics data, specific data, or output data. Thanks for watching.